today I want to show you how to make a quick and easy flashback arrestor for HHO or hydrogen generators. Now, go to the hardware store, pick up something like this. Probably pick up something that's a little larger than this. And you're going to want to stuff it full as tight, as absolutely tight as possible with some brass wool. Nothing else. You want brass wool. Now, we're going to take and cut open the bag. You're going to take out your brass wool. You're going to want to cut some pieces off of it or tear. You're going to want to take and stuff it in there as tight as you possibly can get it in there. Now go get yourself something to stuff it with. I suggest getting some kind of a screwdriver something that's nice and small that'll fit in there good so you can stuff it in there nice and tight as tight as you can get it in there and as much as you can Stuff it in there good. If you leave any air gaps, see when I pull out the other end, it was nice and stuffed in there good. Nice and tight. If you leave any air gaps, it's going to give a place for the HHO gas, the hydrogen gas, to expand and still continue traveling down the tubes. So... Take it, stuff it right down in there, nice and tight. Nice and tightly. If you still got more room down in there, keep stuffing more in. You want it nice and tight. You don't want no air gaps. Pull some more off. Keep stuffing it in there. Stuff it in there as good as you can get. Keep stuffing it in there until you can't get no more in.
stuff it nice and tight. And when you're confident that you have it stuffed full enough, that you can't put no more in it at all, put your other cap on. Put your thread tape on first, and then put your cap on. Take some thread tape, like I didn't do. You're going to want to make sure that you got a nice seal, right? So you're going to take your thread tape. You're going to want to wrap it around your threads. Make sure you got a nice good seal. You don't want your HHO gas leaking out. Now you should do this beforehand, obviously. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this lid, this cap back on here. Definitely not. So, I'm just gonna take the other side off here, add some thread tape. Nice and sealed up. I'll put my other cap back on. I'll tighten it down better after, but for now, Stuff that down into the other end. And before you put your last cap on, you don't want any air gaps in the top of it. As you've seen, when I pulled it apart, a bunch came out of the one end, but not the other. Well, you don't want that to happen because then you got an air gap in there, don't you? And you want that as little as possible. So I suggest taking a bit, stuffing it in the other end before you cap it off. So just take some. I'm not sure the amount. I'm just putting an arbitrary amount in there right now. Stuff some of it down. Cut the excess off. And I'm going to stuff the rest of this down. And then we got the lid sealed up with some there now when you tighten it down it'll be nice and tight and you got no air gaps anywhere in there and you got a nice solid flashback arrestor and you can clip onto each end and when the explosion happens and travels down the tube it'll stop in here now you take and you want to put a few drops of water in there before each use so that way just for extra protection so take a few drops of water, stick it in there. Don't worry, it's not going to mess with the gas flow. It'll just push it through anyway. Just We want that damp in there. You want the brass wool nice and damp. Well, there's a better HHO flashback arrestor than the one I had. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this.